Hey guys, Grady's Mom here with another cooking video. This is a recipe from The Pioneer Woman. I actually saw this episode, I think a few months ago, and it looked so good to me that I actually went online to find it, and I just kept forgetting to make it. So I did actually um, print out the recipe last week to remind myself to make it. It is a cheesy corn chowder, and these are the ingredients. We have some chicken broth, some sharp cheddar, although her recipe calls for Monterey Jack and Pepper Jack. I just prefer cheddar in my corn chowder, that's just me. If you want cheddar, do that. If you want the pepper jack and the Monterey Jack, do that. So that's sort of your preference. Um, some flour, some half and half. Um, her recipe calls for butter, but I only had margarine, so I'm going to use margarine. Three bell peppers. Um, I know she used red and I think orange in the on the um, on the TV episode if you had a green pepper that you wanted to add I would as I would assume that would be just fine but I think the red pepper is the key so you're gonna definitely want to use a red pepper we have a whole yellow onion and we have some bacon I'm only her recipe calls for three slices I'm probably gonna use more like five I like a lot of bacon and then here I just have five fresh um, I took five ears of corn fresh corn and just shucked it and cleaned it all off and then I actually just um, cut off the kernels and put it right in this bowl so this is the equivalent to five years um, it doesn't say in her recipe that you can use frozen but I'm assuming if that's your only option you're probably gonna need about two cups but um, I would definitely say for this recipe fresh is going to be better and then I just have here some green onions that we're gonna slice up as well so again these are the ingredients um, I will post her recipe link down below so if you do want to follow her exact recipe um, without any alterations at all then feel free to go by her link and and um, again I'm using cheddar so that's really the only difference except um, her recipe calls for pepper jack and Monterey Jack okay guys so I have my bacon my peppers so I have three bell peppers orange yellow and red um, a whole yellow onion or a white onion whatever you like to call it five slices of bacon again I'm glad I used five because it calls for three and I used five and then I just have my green onions to slice up so it does this recipe does require some knife work not that that means it's difficult um, it's just a little bit time-consuming so in a large soup pot I just have my butter melting and I'm gonna go ahead and get my onions in which is the first step in the recipe just want to get it all in it's just one whole large white or yellow onion, whatever you like to call it. So I'm just going to, um, also you want to preheat your pan with the butter to make sure when the onions hit the pan, it has a nice sizzle. So I'm going to go ahead and crank the heat up to like medium high and kind of just let these get delicious. So this is step one after you uh, prep all your veggies and bacon and everything. You're going to want to preheat your, your large soup pot again with some butter or margarine it calls for butter um, if you like butter that would probably be a better option for a richer flavor I just personally don't love the flavor of butter um, probably because I was raised on margarine so it's just your preference so again preheat your soup pot with the butter or the margarine and then throw your onions in once the butter is melted okay guys so I let the onions cook for a couple minutes and I just put the bacon in so you didn't miss anything I just put the bacon right on top and I'm going to go ahead and stir the bacon right into the onions and the butter because we want the bacon is completely raw you can throw it in cooked but I figured save myself a step because the recipe says you can put it in raw or cooked so I'm just going to incorporate that right into the onions and butter again I have my heat on like a medium high and I'm just going to let this work for a couple more minutes and then I'm going to go ahead and add the, um, the, red, the red, the green and the yellow peppers excuse me the red the orange and the yellow peppers I did not use green okay guys so I let the bacon cook into the onions and butter and I just stirred in or just threw in my peppers so now I'm just gonna keep doing the same thing I'm just gonna incorporate that all together because you want to get the flavor of the bacon and onions into the peppers and this I'm gonna let work for a few minutes it says a couple minutes on the recipe um, sheet, but I'm probably gonna let it have more like five to seven minutes Probably will turn the heat down just a tad so it's still just under medium high And I'm just gonna let this kind of all work together for about five to seven minutes 
Hey guys, so about seven minutes have passed and the peppers are softening up nicely. So now I'm going to go in and add the star of the show, which is this beautiful fresh corn. Again, this is five ears. And I'm just gonna go ahead and same thing. You're just gonna work that in. And this says just to leave it in for a minute. I'm gonna leave it in for maybe two to three minutes. Not that I'm trying to defy the pioneer woman because she is the expert, not me. But I just want to make sure this kind of all gets coated and gets the nice flavor because you really want that bacon flavor, I feel like. So I'm just going to keep, oh my God, it smells so good. I just got a really good whiff. So we're just going to keep kind of working everything in. And then comes the fun part, turning this into a, an actual soup. Okay, guys, so I let the corn cook in for about two to three minutes. And then I just measured out a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. This is going to be what thickens the soup. So I'm just going to stir the flour right in. Um, what we're doing is we're pretty much creating a roux, um, which all that means is flour and fat. And the fat would be the bacon grease or the bacon juices, whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going, you know, like I said, I'm incorporating the flour in. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you just want to stir it in so you really can't see any white, if that makes sense. And then to make this in a soup, into a soup, we're going to go ahead now and I'm going to add three cups of the chicken broth. So I have two cups here. So I'm going to go ahead and get the first two cups in. And I'm going to turn the heat up because the liquid is going to cool it down. And then I'm just going to pour just measuring right now one more cup so I'm gonna add the third and final cup of the chicken broth right in and give it a nice stir here so you're gonna see with your own eyes in just a second how that flour that I put in is going to getting everything off the sides well, all that goodness in there so I'm going to go ahead and stir this. I have the heat now on high because, again, the broth is going to cool that um, everything down that was already nice and hot. Oops, I have a little wrapper in there. I don't want that, the wrapper from the, the little tab from the broth. So I took that out, obviously. That wouldn't be very tasty. So again, guys, I'm just kind of stirring this in. And I'm going to let this kind of hang out. It says on the recipe directions for three to four minutes. So I'm just going to kind of let this hang out and bubble up and get nice and hot again. Okay guys, so this is after just three to four minutes. Look how um, much thicker it's gotten and I haven't even added the cream or the cheese yet. So um, I turned the heat down to low, which the recipe calls for, I would have done that anyways. And now I'm gonna go ahead and get two cups of the half and half right in here, which is gonna make it a beautiful cream soup. So I just poured the two cups in and I'm just gonna give it a nice stir. And now it's pretty much going to become a cream soup because everything is going to mix all together. It smells literally heavenly right now. My neighbors are probably wondering what I am doing in here and who I'm talking to. Oh my God, look how good that looks already, guys, and it's not even done yet. And my little helper is behind me watching. So I'm just stirring this in, and now I'm going, I'm going to let this simmer for 15 minutes, and then I'm going to add my cheese. Okay, guys, so about 15 minutes have elapsed. And it is nice and thick, um, just like a chowder, just like a cream soup. It smells literally amazing. Um, it felt like time was standing still because I want to eat it already. So now we are going to add in some green onions. If they will even come off the plate. I'm going to use my hands. Yes, they are clean. I'm going to get all these onions off. I would think chives would be good too you have chives like some people grow chives in their garden would think that would be really good too so I just threw the onions in or on I guess you could say and then lastly we are going to add two cups of the cheese sounds like a lot but it's a huge pot and yeah Grady wants to say hi hi you want attention don't you he is having a snack which is a chocolate covered granola bar very healthy there you go bud okay so anyways guys back to the soup I'm just gonna stir in the two cups and this is actually the last step all we have to do now is just let everything melt and then it is done 
Um, it is the morning right now, in case anybody's wondering. So this is actually my dinner for tonight. Um, I'll, be, I'll be honest, I really can't wait to eat it. So I'm probably going to have like a coffee cup size mug of this right now because it looks so delicious. How could you make this and then not eat it? And then I will just let it cool down um, to, you know, almost room temperature. And I will just put the lid right on the pot and put it in the fridge and then for dinner I will just set it on the stove probably half an hour before I want to eat and let it come to a simmer and then we are going to have this for dinner tonight but it literally smells amazing uh, amazing I wish you guys could like jump in this pot with me because I'm about to jump in so yeah I'm just gonna let this guys um, kinda hang out just for a few minutes let's, let's call it five minutes just so everything's thoroughly melted, I'm going to let it come to like a little bit of a bubble. And then I will test it out, and I'm sure it's going to be delicious. So again, guys, if you want the link for this, um, it's down below. Um, and I really hope you will give this a shot. I love the Pioneer Woman. For those who haven't heard of her, she is on Food Network. Um, and she makes really kind of down-home, um, easy, hearty recipes. Um, I have tried a few of her recipes before. So I hope you guys enjoyed again. Thumbs up for more cooking videos. Um, the more thumbs up I get, the more I know that you guys want to see them, which will motivate me to do them more. I hope you guys all have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.